Okay. Few people on YouTube have ge have been asking me how I did the drums on my Corporal Jigsaw Quandary cover, and I decided to make a tow trio to show how I did the drums and how they can do their self the drums on their own song or a cover. Okay, I'm using FL Studio, and I hope you're also using it because this tow trio is based on FL Studio and Eastrumer open it you will get this thing here you click you right click on it and click insert and choose eastrummer if you don't have here the eastrummer then click more there should be a lot of plugins here and stuff like that. Click refresh then and fast scan. Then you should get the e strummer thing. You should get. But if you don't get, be sure that you have put the DLL file to the plugin folder. Okay. So insert e strummer. Now you will get this e strummer thing open. It's gonna load. I'm gonna choose drum kit from hell gonna take a while because I'm recording and it takes the RAM. Okay, so this is basically the drum kit from hell. A lot of symbols and toms and stuff like that. So now you can uh, change the settings here. You can change the bass drum sound, the snare and uh, all different stuff. And there's here some already some kits uh, default kit, metal kit, thrash kit, death kit, basic kit, and choose death kit almost loaded okay that's it and now now we're ready to put the drums to a song or cover first of all I suggest that you open the mixer and mix the tracks you have to experiment what sounds great and you know stuff like that and then there's presets there's default roomy and dry uh, I like the sound of the dry one I'm gonna show you and then you can open the groove thing and there's this there's already some beats here that you can use and if you like them you just drag and drop them and that's it and then you can start putting them and stuff like that but now I'm, I'm going to show you how you can make your own beats you're going to right click and piano roll Yeah, so now you can create your own. Here's the bass drum and you know snare. It's it's pretty simple. Just make a quick saw here. that and then you just paint the patterns you know but but this is not the way I did the drums on my cover video I used Guitar Pro y yeah and I clicked the file and opened some drum file here's the new millennium New Millennium Cyanide Christ by Meshuga, and here are all the tracks you know distortion, guitar, electric bass, drum set. 
and you just click you just delete every other track except the drums so you press control alt and delete and now you only have the drums the next thing is click file export and MIDI I'm gonna say where you want to save it you just save it where you want I'm gonna save it on the desktop yes now I hit save next thing click here import MIDI file on the FL Studio save changes now and then we're gonna choose the MIDI file wherever you put it in next thing it's gonna ask which tracks to import and don't click anything here just click OK it's gonna have a load of drum charts drum charts here you know but if you play you won't get any sound so you right click replace ease drummer and then the drum kit from hell or the original kit if you want you know you choose the kit that you want and mix it and after you mix it you just click this off and you should get the sound and the next thing you choose the song mode and then you just paint only one pattern. It will be a really long pattern here. Like this. And keep it on the song mode. And then you just click File, Expo, and then uh, Wave or MP3 file. Uh, Wave is a little bit better, and the sound quality MP3 is a bit faster. And MP3 and then it's gonna just render it and that's it uh, that's how I made the drums to my cover